This is Pet Life Radio. Let's talk pets. Hey everyone, welcome to Groomer Humor on Pet Life Radio. We are your hosts, I'm Rudy V, along with my son, Anthony Ray, and we're so excited about this show today because we're going to be talking about food, and we love talking about food, right? And we love (laughs) eating food too, obviously. A little too much, I think. (laughs) Yeah, well, in particular, we're going to be talking about pet food, but uh, man... What a great topic. I mean, it's been a really, really uh, fun summer for me. I've eaten so much pizza and sausage parm and all that good stuff. And how about you, man? What's your steady diet these days, Ant? Lasagna. (laughs) It's just kind of in general, just in general, lasagna (laughs) with a lot of sauce on it. Yeah, that's it. Not even really drinking like water a whole lot. Just just lasagna. Just Just lasagna. Just just straight up That's all. Lunch and dinner, lasagna yeah, meals. Yeah, and and cold. Yeah, if like for breakfast, I'll have a cold piece of lasagna. You know, yeah. Because I don't yeah. like like I don't really like like hot food that much. For lunch, I'll probably have another cold hunk of lasagna. Yeah. You know, and then and then you know, yeah, you, know, you tie it all in with you know with a third hunk of lasagna or two for dinner. <laughs> right. Um, I had an order of mozzarella sticks at the diner the other day, but but it, it did have like a healthy overtone because they laid it on a bed of lettuce. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The, the and and I. I uh, but I didn't eat the lettuce. So. Of course not. Well, but, I don't know. But but it felt it felt like I was doing something healthy though, because sure. I saw the lettuce and I was like, man, oh, look at this, you know. You know, you know what it is. Anytime there's something green on the plate, it makes yeah. you feel better, you know. <laughs> right. You know? Even if even if it's not good. Um, <laughs> yeah. Just put right. some green on the plate. Right. Or even if you don't eat it, like a lot of times, like I'll have a big bowl of mashed potatoes, you know, and, and you know, there'll be some, you know, there'll be some string beans in there or some broccoli. Put a, or put a little corn in it. You put yeah. Like, a little corn and, you know, and then you just kind of work around the colors and just go for the mashed potatoes and, uh, you know, whatever. As long as the healthy stuff is there for me, it's just, it's a placebo thing. I feel like I did, I'm doing something good. Well, I love that we definitely, we treat our dogs better than we treat ourselves. And I think that's going to be the, uh, the point of this show today. Cause you know, we have, we have a really great guest coming on, Ronaldo Webb from Pet Plate. And man, this guy has designed some super, super designer healthy food for our dogs. I think I want to indulge in it. I might might uh, take a few scoops. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Do they? I wonder if they have lasagna. <laughs> maybe, maybe yeah maybe it'll come out with lasagna flavor who knows just, know. you know just to make it easier on them if they just just cheese anything yeah. cheese really is it works for me but yeah that's definitely the uh the theme of today's uh, today's show for sure all right none of that unhealthy stuff coming into our dogs lives okay that and that is the purpose of this show we are going to be talking about this amazing food that ronaldo webb from pet plate has come up with so that we could pamper our dogs way better than we pamper ourselves. All that when we come back on Groomer Humor. Does your dog itch, scratch, stink, or shed like crazy? Come to Dynavite for help. Order a 90-day supply of Dynavite. Dynavite for life. Pick up two tubes of Doggo Suds. Get the third tube free. Peppermint, tea tree, lavender, Doggo Sud shampoo. Made with all-natural coconut, jojoba, aloe. Great for healthy skin and soft, shiny coats. But no itchy, harsh chemicals. Lather up, rinse away. Try Doggo Suds. Buy two, get one free. At Dynavite.com. D-I-N-O-V-I-T-E dot com. Let's Talk Pets on PetLifeRadio.com. And welcome back to Groomer Humor. Once again, we are your hosts. I'm Rudy V, along with my son, Anthony Ray. And as mentioned, our very, very special guest today is Ronaldo Webb, founder of Pet Plate. Thank you so much for being with us today, Ronaldo. Hey, how you guys doing? We're very, very well. Thank you, man. Uh, appreciate you coming on. Ronaldo, let's get right into this because I want to know a little bit about you. Uh, tell us a little about yourself. We know you're from New Orleans. You were raised by a single mom. Let's talk a little bit about that real quick. 
Yeah, you know, loved growing up in New Orleans, you know, it was an amazing, amazing experience. You know, one of the, I think, few unique places, you know, uh, you know really, really in the U.S. If you guys haven't been, highly recommend going. And obviously my mom was great. Uh, you know, grew up with my two sisters and she put in a lot of energy and effort really to kind of, you know, the make us, you know, never want for anything. So I learned a lot from her just uh, throughout the years. But, you know, after, uh, you know, living in New Orleans for a while, I went to school up in Boston, went to MIT where I studied physics. That was great. Uh, very, very challenging. And after a while, you know, when I realized I wasn't going to solve string theory, you know, I started <laughs> looking for other jobs and, uh, you know, transitioned over into consulting. So I worked for a couple of big, you know, consulting and private equity firms. So, you know, McKinsey and O'Catterton um, are, are two of the firms that I spent uh, a couple years at. And, you know, there I worked a lot in pet food factories. And, you know, that really led me to, you know, wanting to cook for my dog, Winston, which eventually led me to uh, launching Pet Play. But, you know, it, for me, it's really just been a, just a fun journey, you know, just exploring and trying to always learn something new each day if I can. Yeah, so that's just a little bit about me. That's awesome, Ronaldo. Yeah, I, I love that you you know you give props to your mom. Uh, I, I grew up with a single dad, yeah. so I kind of huh? I kind of can relate. So, uh, but I, I love yeah. that you give your know, props to your mom. So important. Yeah, and, um, and I feel I was hard to raise in general. Oh. <laughs> I can't I'm even imagine. Make up for it now. I'm trying to. Make up, you know? <laughs> well, I'm sure you are. Um, but let, let's talk a little bit about that too. Like, what, you're obviously an entrepreneur right now. What I, you know? What advice can you give to a you know a up and coming entrepreneur like yourself? Yeah, you know, yeah, I, I think a lot of it really just has to come to finding something that you believe in and and really going after it. Uh, you know, that's very much what I did with Pet Plate. You know, found the space that I thought I could you know do a lot of good. You know, from what I saw in kind of the pet food factories I was consulting in, I really thought that there was a, you know, real food solution that could make a difference in the lives of a lot of pet parents. And that was something that I was able to rally behind. So I always tell entrepreneurs that are thinking about launching something, it's make sure you find something you're excited about because it's going to be hard, right? You're going to fail, uh, you sure. know, hundreds, thousands of times, you know, right. uh, it's going to be, you know, failure daily. And, you know, it's always good to be able to make sure that you can fall back on a, a, a mission and, uh, and a vision you're excited about. And mm -hmm. then I would also say, you know, really make sure that you have your mentors. Uh, you know, that was something that, you know, I, again, one of, one of my learnings, you always learn the hard way. You know, there's so much that you don't know. And, you know, I also like to say, like, most people know that there's a lot they don't know, but then they don't know all the stuff that they don't know that they should know, which is an even <laughs> bigger problem. And, you know, that's where I feel mentors can really come into play and it can help to set you up for success, right? I find so many times entrepreneurs, it's kind of pride, you know, everyone talks about the hustle that they put in, et cetera. But, you know, you don't always have to reinvent the wheel. So where people can help you and where people are willing to help you, I say, make sure you take that. A little bit kind of, you know, just two, two little nuggets, but, you know, we could talk about this for hours probably. No, yeah. And sure. all the things but, I, I wish I knew before starting no, that but, place. But it's beautiful because you have such great insight because you're mm -hmm. going through it as well. And, I, and yep. I, I don't think that entrepreneurs ever stop going through it. It's kind of just a constant mm -hmm. journey. So mm -hmm. it's one thing that we love about you. And again, we're just so happy to have you on the show. So I got to be honest with you, Ronaldo, I'm looking at the brochures and I've seen your mm -hmm. the food on YouTube and everything. And I'm be honest, man, it looks so good. I feel like breaking out with, with a fork and spoon and digging in myself, <laughs> honestly. Like, where yeah, are the yeah. crackers with this? Because exactly. the food looks so tempting. So let's talk a little bit about the food. The one thing I, I love about it, it, it is grain-free, right? Uh, yeah. So actually, we have a variety of different options. And okay. yeah, just for the people that, you know, um, you haven't heard of Pet Plate before, we're a human grade pet food delivery service. You know, so imagine a pre-cooked blue apron that gets delivered to your door um, for your dog and Hopefully very soon we'll have cats too. Um, yeah. And we have, and it kind of to your question on it being grain-free, except we have four different options right now. So for dogs that definitely need a grain-free diet, um, we currently have two options available, a beef uh, and turkey dish. And then, you know, we have also a chicken dish that doesn't have any grain as well. And then our lamb dish has quinoa in it. And, you know, we're always going to be launching new meals and kind of changing, uh, changing what we offer. So we just want to make sure that we have something for everybody there. So whether your dog has, you know, allergies or is a picky eater, or has a sensitive stomach, we're really trying to make sure that we have a formulation out there that will work for you. That's amazing. Yeah, it's definitely intriguing and, and we love it. Do you find that with the ongoing obesity problem that we're having with our pets, yeah. are you finding yeah. with your product, is it a healthy option? 
Yeah, and you know, it, and it's a huge issue, right? And with I believe sixty percent of dogs in America being overweight or obese, and I believe oh, yeah. probably about the same for cats. It's uh, it, it's huge. And then when you start looking at other um, illnesses associated that with that, such as like you know diabetes, right? It just it can really be a cascading problem when you think about you know just the vet bills that are associated with those illnesses. But you know, we really like to approach it from a couple different ways. One, it's using high quality ingredients. So the ingredients that we use, we don't use any fillers and that makes sure that your pup is actually digesting all of all of the food and is really using all of the nutrients that we're providing. And I think that's like really important, you know, just like us, you know, you are what you put in. Um, mm. And if you're, you know, putting in junk, typically you're not going to get great stuff out. But I think the bigger portion part of it is that we portion all of our meals. Um, mm. So, and that's based on the weight and size of the dog. So when you hop on, on our website, you know, you tell us a little bit about your pup. And then from now, we can understand how many calories per day that they need, right? And I think that's a big, you know, hole that happens kind of with other product, whether it's kibble or wet food, you go out and you buy this giant bag, and it's really unclear of how much you're supposed to feed your dog, right? And, you know, if your dog's loving the food, you want them to be happy, you're adding a little bit more, and then you're adding treats. And, you know, then without knowing it, you've just given your dog way more calories than they actually need. So for pet plate, a very different experience when you order, uh, we portion all of the meals for you so that you know, hey, I'm supposed to use this container over two days, or I'm supposed to use this container over three days. So I'm supposed to give my dog a fourth of the container, you know, per meal. And that way it makes it easier for you to get the serving sizes right. So, you mm. know, we're just trying to approach it from two different angles, making sure that A, the ingredients are right, and then B, the portioning is right. Because if either one of those are wrong, we can still have an obesity problem. Oh, yeah. The reason why we should be looking at this, and I think that as we continue to humanize our dogs more and more, it's becoming more and more obvious that we need to give them a healthy food. And what better food than yours? Because uh, just the ingredients, the convenience... Go to www.petplate.com. Guys, look this up because this is just such a healthy option uh, right to your doorstep, home-cooked meals right to your doorstep. So, uh, yeah, it's, we're so happy to have you on again, and we want to push your product through our store because, again, we have like a hefty clientele here, and I can't tell yeah. you how many how many dogs come in with obesity problems. So we're really excited to get your product going right in our store here as well, Ronaldo. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, we also, you know, fix a bunch of other issues for pet parents. So I think I alluded to it a little bit earlier, you know, whether it's allergies, uh, your dog's a picky eater, has a sensitive stomach. We really do have meals that work for all, all of those type of issues and illnesses. And, you know, that was one of the reasons when I, where I first realized that pet plate could be like a, a huge difference and uh, can make a huge difference in a lot of pet parents. You know, I started cooking for my dog, Winston, and then some of my friends that had dogs were like, oh, hey, let me try this out for with some of my, my pets. You know, my dog Sherlock, uh, you know, is, uh, isn't really eating his kibble anymore. And, and that dog in particular actually had allergies. So the silver schnauzer was always biting his paws. You know, within a couple of weeks of eating pet plates, stop biting his paws and, you know, it, it stopped the discoloration that was happening. And, you know, that was actually one of the first pet plate clients and customers and hmm. proud to say they're still ordering the food today. So, you know, that was one of the first times like my eyes like really opened up to just the difference that, you know, whole food, real food can make for pets. Yeah. Yeah, we've, yeah definitely, that's awesome. um, we've definitely learned that how important diets, what your dog is actually eating, the effect it can yeah. have on all the other aspects of its life. And mm -hmm. so um, it's great that all this information is coming all up to the surface now. So people are learning uh, because of people like you and companies like you, everybody. It's great this information that's coming out because it's kind of solving a lot, of, a lot of questions that have been going on for so many years. Of, you know, why is my dog biting their paws? Or, you know, what's going on? Something exactly. so simple. Something so simple. Yeah. Even as dog groomers, the people that we do have that are on better diets, we see mm -hmm. a complete change in even their personalities, less skin problems. Yeah. You know, I mean, even from a dog grooming perspective, diet is everything. You know, mm -hmm. again, it, the dogs are coming in and their personalities are just better too. They're happier dogs and, and, and they yeah. feel healthier, just like we do. Like you mentioned, it, it's, you know, what you take in is what, you know, what you put out. Um, mm -hmm. But you know what? What we're going to do is we're going to go to commercial, and uh, when we come back, we're going to talk a little bit more about your experience on Shark Tank. We want to know about that and a lot more. We're going to come back in just a few minutes on Groomer Humor. Put on a perfectly possum pet party. Having an awesome birthday or adoption day celebration for your four-legged friend? Or just want a fun excuse to throw a fun party with your friends from the dog park? 
Deck out your party with Molly and Bandit Pet Party Accessories. Party products designed specifically for pets. There are wearables, including adjustable pet party hats, bow ties, and tutus. The photo prop kits include funny glasses and hats. The party supplies and decorations include coordinating table covers, party banners, cake decorations and treat bowls, cups and bags. Everything you need to create great memories and Instagram-worthy photos. They're available in two colorful themes, Tropical and Fireman. It's a dog's life. Celebrate it with Molly and Bandit Pet Party at mollyandbanditpetparty.com slash pet life. Let's talk pets. Let's talk pets. On Pet Life Radio. Pet Life Radio. PetLifeRadio.com. <laughs> Welcome back to Groomer Humor on PetLifeRadio.com. I am your host, Anthony Ray, along with my dad, Rudy V, and our very special guest today from Pet Plate, Ronaldo Webb. We have covered a lot so far, all the way from physics at MIT to founding Pet Plate. A very, very interesting journey that Ronaldo has been on, and uh, that also includes being on Shark Tank. But before we get into some of the uh, experiences you had on Shark Tank, I just wanted to um, ask very quickly. So, um, like I said, we've covered a lot about Pet Plate, but according to the feeding guidelines and all that awesome, precise stuff that you guys have on the website, what can people look to spend on Pet Plate? Yeah, no, very good question. So, you know, Pet Plate starts as low as three dollars a day for small dogs. So, imagine dogs under, you know, uh, between five and ten pounds, you can expect to pay about three bucks a day. And then, you know, for your average size, you know, thirty, forty pound dog, you can go as high as like five dollars. And then for larger dogs, you can get more expensive, obviously, because you know they're eating a lot more food. But we also have a toppers option, um, which can be you know provided, uh, and you know they can be combined with your uh, typical kibble, right? So that's a nice way of being able to balance out the cost as well. But you know we really like to uh, just think you know you really are getting what you pay for. We only use USDA certified meat, food and veggies. Everything's 100% human grade. Also comes with a proprietary uh, supplement blend to make sure that it's complete and balanced. So it really is a good value for the money when you look at the alternative of, you know, cooking for your pet or trying to find, you know, other very high quality food for them. Well, yeah, that's amazing. And then especially when you add in some of the money you'll be saving on some possible vet visits that you exactly. might you know, in the future. That's really good. That's great. All right. So, all right, well, let's get into a little bit of some Shark Tank stuff. Boy, what to, I'm, yeah. I'm sure you get this all the time, but uh, what to even ask first? I guess, I, guess it, I mean, what was it like just to start? I mean, how was that? I mean... Yeah, I, it, it was an awesome experience overall. And for me, it was uh, a little bit of a whirlwind. So everyone asked, like, how did you even get on Shark Tank? And, you know, truth is, we were at, uh, it was New York Tech Day, and they had an open casting. So just like, oh, imagine kind of American Idol-esque, just like long line of entrepreneurs, wow. all kind of lined up to pitch a couple of the producers. I walked up, gave my pitch. Uh, I guess one of the producers had a dog, really loved it. We had a good conversation and, you know, wasn't actually expecting to hear back after that just because you just see so many people pitching about it. But I think the idea really resonated with the producers that were listening. And then they followed up over the phone and I had to film myself a couple of times and in video of myself doing a pitch. So if you guys ever watch, I go back to like uh, the videos of people on like the real world, like videotaping themselves <laughs> and sending it in MCD. Uh, it was a little bit like that and it just ended up working out well and was on the show um, kind of around, uh, you know, June of 2016 and eventually it aired in uh, December of 2016 and we used it as an opportunity to go nationwide. So it was a really great launching pad for the brand and for me personally, it was just a good experience. You know, I think even though I didn't walk away with the deal, you know, got a lot of great feedback from the Sharks that we were able to address, you know, later on in the business. And I think that's really been, um, you know, fundamental to Pet Plate's growth, answering those questions. You know, as being a pretty big fan of the of uh, Shark Tank myself, I'm glad that you said that uh, the feedback that you were able to apply it because anybody who watches Shark Tank knows they get really mad at some mm. of the people who come on just to get on TV. 
you know, and when, when yeah. and they're not taking, yeah. they're not taking their company or their venture seriously as an entrepreneur. And as you mentioned earlier, when you were talking about that, you, there needs to be passion and you need to be taking it seriously mm-hmm. to even flirt with success as an entrepreneur, because you really should never be comfortable and you yeah. always have to be learning. And you mentioned that earlier. So I'm, it shows that how seriously and how passionate you are about Pet Plate mm-hmm. by what you said, where the feedback is almost just as important as possibly getting a deal itself, you could yeah. say even. Yeah, I mean, I think it's important as an entrepreneur to always listen to people. You know, when people are taking the time to give you feedback, especially when they have very important things to be doing, as the sharks are, obviously, you know, it's a TV show. So, you know, Mm -hmm. they they want people there and they want the interaction. But, you know, still, they're, I believe they're taking time to kind of really formulate some, you know, very uh, thought provoking questions, uh, really give some good feedback as to why. And when people tell you no, or a customer decides not to order, or a customer cancels, if you're not asking the question, right, it's hard for you to improve your business from that point on. So I think it's always important to be inquisitive about that, particularly when you don't hear the question you are expecting to hear, because that means one of your assumptions was wrong, right? Mm. And we were able to address a lot of that with Pepsi. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. I w- when you were on the show, did they uh, did they ask you anything that you absolutely weren't expecting that you had to sort of just come up with on the spot, or or did you were you pretty well prepared yeah. where it was like, no, nah, I got this. Yeah, for the most part, I was not surprised by any of the questions that they asked. Sometimes, well, actually, I take that back. You know, um, actually, on the show for me was uh, Chris Saka. He's one of the original investors in Uber. And, Mm -hmm. you know, I wasn't expecting some of his questions about how he thought Uber was um, competitive with Pep Plate. You know, I would have thought it would have been more synergistic. That one threw me off a little bit. And then when Mark Cuban said he didn't like dogs, (laughs) that made it like really hard for me to respond to, uh, you know, so those two I were not, I was not expecting. The majority of the questions were all the standard ones that you would have expected. And, um, you know, was really able to uh, kind of like, dive into it with the, with the business. So, you know, got, got a lot of good feedback, like I said, from them. And you know, I thought the questions that, you know, they're asking were, you know, very appropriate for the most part. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I mean, Tyson, I would have been so thrown off guard if Mark Cuban told me I don't like dogs. I would have that would have been the end of my pitch if it was going well right there, because I would have just said, well, why? And then it would have, the yeah. rest of the pitch yeah. would have just been about that. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. probably what I probably what I should have done. You know, it made it like a you know, PR, PR disaster for yeah, them. Probably. But uh, but it was fun. And, you know, Winston was on the show with me. So we were able to, uh, you know, get a, you know, a lot of like literally the most requested question we get when we air is what kind of dog is Winston? Yeah. So, you know, people are always really excited about that because he had a blast on the show eating the food and the shark ate the food because, you know, again, you know, that place, you know, hunts in human great. So, you know, we really like to, you know, um, really, put, uh, I was going to say put our money where our mouth is or put our food where our mouth is and, you know, really stand on the quality. So. It was cool to do that on national TV. Winston did great on the show, too. Uh, he, he propped up and started eating the food. Didn't it fall over or something like that? Or the, the, I mean, yeah. it was uh, very much like a lady in the tramp set up. We did with them. So we had like a little candle lit dinner for him. And, <laughs> you know, I was expecting him to put his paws up on the table and lean over and eat the food, you know, properly. But he just jumped up on the table, knocked the candle over. Yeah. Thank God it was fake. Right. And just started going to town and. Then, you know, when I was passing the food out to the sharks, he was jumping, trying to get to it. So it, it was, it was, that was a fun experience, right? It, uh, just seeing how excited he was. And, you know, he's the real star of the show, really. Yeah, it, it shows how much he loves the food, too. Yeah, yeah. He, he, he wanted to eat it right out of the shark's hands. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think we were doing our lamb dish at the time, and that's one of his favorites. <laughs> Like particularly excited about it. That's how I react whenever a meal comes out that I really want to eat. I just jump <laughs> on the table and just start going to town. So it's fine. It's really normal behavior if you think about it. Exactly. <laughs> you know, Anthony and I have come to the conclusion, Ronaldo, that, you know, because we both need to be on diets ourselves. So I think we're going to actually go on the pet plate diet ourselves because we need to lose some weight, bro. For yeah. real. <laughs> It's super healthy, you know. You, I know. We, we balance it for dogs, right? So I wouldn't recommend anyone going through and eating it. But you know, sure. we we are human grade, and you know, as all of the food is made at a USDA facility, etc. So it could work. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah. It, it might. I wonder what yours would cost, Dad. I don't know. No, I mean, probably. We, you yeah. know what? You got to run your name through the website. You got to, you yeah. know, give them all your info. <laughs> yeah, I got, yeah, I got, exactly. You. What? Yeah. What kind yeah. of breed would I be? Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's pretty funny. <laughs> something, something without a whole lot of hair. Something. Yeah. Short. Mexican hairless, Mexican kind of thing. hairless. Yeah, yeah. 
Um, I'd not be the exact opposite of that. Yeah, you'd be like a woolly mammoth or something. <laughs> I don't know. You'd, you'd, you'd probably be doing a, at least 200 bucks a, a month or something. I don't know. But anyway. <laughs> anyway. Um, yeah. So, Ronaldo, uh, before we sort of uh, wrap, um, I just want to give you a moment to uh, sort of tell everybody like what you're currently working on, where they can reach you, find out more about Pet Plate. Yeah, of course. So, you know, right now we're working on getting a bunch more meals launched out. So earlier, uh, you know, this summer we introduced the chicken and lamb recipe. It's been great. We've gotten a lot of good feedback from all of our customers. And so now we're going back to the, uh, you know, drawing board to come up with some new and really exciting dishes, you know, hopefully going to be, you know, something uh, even, even more exotic. So, you know, some things we're thinking about is, you know, duck and some fish options, maybe something mm. along the line of rabbit. So, you know, nice. so definitely head to our website at www.petplate.com, you know, sign up. Um, we have uh, trials offering, um, and you can get 25% off your first box to get started. And once you're on our mailing list, whenever we're, you know, testing out new flavors or, you know, really looking for food back on something new, whether it's treats or supplements, you'll be the first to know about it. So um, definitely head there, you know, tell us a little bit about your dog and we can come up with a great meal plan for them. That's great. That's nice. great. Nice. Awesome, guys. Definitely go and check that out, guys. Right. So thanks so much for stopping by, guys. Special thanks to Ronaldo Webb. Thanks so much for coming on today, man. Yeah, thank you all thank for you, having me. It was really fun. And, you know, really looking forward to chatting with you guys again. Say hi Absolutely. to Winston for me. Yeah. yeah I will. I will. <laughs> yeah. He'll, uh, he'll, he'll say he needs a haircut. Oh, yeah. Bring him in anytime. <laughs> Yeah. All, right. All right. As always. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely, man. Um, we'd like to thank our producer, Mark Winter, as always. Thank you so much, Mark. If you guys haven't done so already, head on over to our YouTube channel. It's called Grooming by Rudy. That's Grooming by Rudy on YouTube.com. Leave a comment, like, share, subscribe. We want to hear from you guys. You could also like Grooming by Rudy on Facebook. Follow Grooming by Rudy on Instagram and Twitter. It has been an absolute pleasure. Until next time, take care of yourselves and your pets. Let's Talk Pets. Every week on demand. Only on PetLifeRadio.com.